Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are having a whole resurgence of everything today, I say today, just recently, because we got the new update a few days ago, which basically fixed a good amount of the lag. We'll play Judas, why not? It fixed a good amount of the lag, it didn't fix all of it, but it fixed a good amount of the lag. But also, I realised that little old Turtle Melon here has been a giant flaming moron for a considerable amount of time. Um, oh, uh, oh, there you go. Okay, uh, let me just make sure my unlocks are done for that. There you go. Yeah, I, I fixed the issue with um, with Repentance Plus. This is unrelated. But I fixed that issue. It was an incompatibility with Ipecac. Um, I disabled something in Ipecac and it fixed it. Okay, slightly annoying room here with the teal guy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, that was brilliant. I love that. I love that. But the the thing that I was just about to say is, yeah, I um, I've been kind of an idiot. So for the past like, I don't know, three years, I've been recording with the exact same settings. Oh hell yeah! Give me that cute baby. I've been recording with the exact same settings because they work for me. And honestly, not not a bad thing really. But I have since realised that. About a year ago, maybe a little under a year, um, there was some pretty big improvements to AMD's encoding, uh, like hardware encoding. Um, and I've always been using software encoding. I've been using X264, which is software encoding. Um, and uh, that's, that's through OBS, which is what I record with. And... So I've just been carrying on using that. I've been using that for a really long time. I've not really had any sort of big sort of issue with it or anything. Um, but recently I tried recording um, a few other games because as some of you might already know, I'm planning on... Um, do you know what? This this, this room just is just annoying me. Um, like basically when we when we get around to uh getting to 10k i'm planning on sort of booting up my second channel it's already created i already have it i've got a video on it already by the way if anyone wants to go and watch that video you can uh, find a link to this channel in the description and probably in the um in the comments as well basically um this is the second channel that i've mentioned before that's just going to be me uploading sort of random stuff um and at the minute it's got a video of me playing warzone on it so if anyone wants to see me play some warzone 2 just some solos on my own i got a win i thought that was pretty cool um it's just there it's gonna be some really chill content but anyways yeah so because i wanted to record that i had to go and test it out and i realized and i've had this problem in the past too it's not just from this but um i was having kind of a hard time recording games such as uh warzone and other games that are like more new and have got more going on I had a hard time uh, making any videos on them because basically the very moment that I decide to start recording, like once I get OBS booted up, the game just lags like crazy. It literally drops my FPS from like 100 plus to like 30 or 40. And I never really knew why, but um, I was like, Do you know what, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to look into this because I want to start recording some other games and this is a big problem. So I had a little fish around and turns out, um, it's to do with the encoder I was using, and I, as I said, I was using software encoding. So I switched over to hardware encoding because AMD have, um, have put in some extra effort and got their hardware encoding to a point where it's pretty good now. And um, it's night and day better. It's like, it, it literally, there is zero frame drop whatsoever. You can see it in the Warzone 2 video on the other channel if you want to go and have a look. Um, literally, frame rate is absolute perfection. And obviously, I've now changed it for Isaac as well, which should mean that my game doesn't lag as much while I'm recording, which should mean less lag in general. So we've just got two things back to back that have really fixed us up. So for the question of the day, what's something that you were oblivious to that you shouldn't have been for a long time? What's something that you didn't know about for a while that you probably should have known about? But that's that's mine. I, I for some reason, had been using software encoding for a really long time. I think it's because I was told to in the game. Um, like when I first started up, I was told to use software encoding, but it's obviously AMD have brought out some new stuff and it's, it's kind of changed the game a little bit. It's, it's better than it was before. Oh, I do. I'm, I'm loving Cube Baby right now. Also, I definitely want that penny for some reason. Um, yeah, it's like, I, it's, a, it's a whole new world. It's a whole new world. So please do let me know if there's anything wrong with the way that this video looks. O on my end, on the other monitor, what I'm seeing it looks exactly the same as it did before. The quality is the same, if not maybe even a little better. But do let me know if you feel that there's been a 
a rather big change in quality if you think that the game looks worse or if there's more um, artifacting or whatever. Um, do let me know and I'll try and fix any of that. But I think it should look pretty much exactly the same. I don't think you guys should be noticing any quality difference on your end. We are. I hope, at least. I hope. We do have golden keys here, which is pretty nice. Um, we can go back to our item room after, it's fine. We've got really good health as well, actually, to start with here. God damn, the teal champions are so common at the moment. I don't mind them, I think they're really fun champion types. Um, but they are goddamn common, aren't they? Go in here for free. And we get rewards card. Um, golden heart. Shop prices are reduced by one for the current floor for each item purchased on that floor pretty good. Golden Heart's pretty nice too, and it is a quality 4 as well, so I will take it. It seems like it could be pretty decent. So basically, for each item we purchase on a floor, everything else on that floor gets cheaper, as, as I understand it there, which is pretty good, to be honest. Pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to go Devil Deal or Angel Deal here. I think I'm more predisposed to go Angel Deal. That was a really bad hit by me, but we got some money out of it, so let's not, let's not fret. Get him slown. Ooh, thank you for the bomb. And thank you for the bomb as well. This is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Wow, that was a very easy kill on him. GMO Corn. Ooh, this one is scary, but I'm going to just take it. Okay, we didn't get any bad um, bad pills there. Like, we got bad pills, but none of them were bad pills, if you know what I mean. Everything's pretty, pretty standard. We didn't get any speed downs, any tears downs. Those are the ones we're looking to avoid. Anyways, let's keep her moving on. And we get Chastity Bell? What is what is this? Um, Damage plus two divided by number of keys plus one. Keys left in room will be removed on re-entry. I'll be honest, I don't know what this means. I think it just means that I get more damage the more keys I have. I think. I'm not sure. I didn't... I'll be honest, I didn't fully understand what that was talking about. I, I, ain't, I ain't looking to do maths right now. Uh, do you know what? I know I just got that soul heart, but I'm willing to sacrifice it for the potential in here. Unfortunately, it was um, a bad idea in the end. There you go. It happens sometimes. Give me a golden chest. Give me a golden chest. Give me a golden chest. Oh, I didn't actually die, so I didn't trigger... Oh. He turned to ice, which means he didn't actually trigger his on-death effect. Slightly annoying with freezing enemies that that happens. There's some of those keys disappearing. So, let me just figure something out. If I come in here... Okay, I can't buy a key. I was going to see if I bought, bought a key if I gained or lost damage. I, I'm honestly still a little unclear on that. Uh, secret room here. Hmm... <gasps> ho, 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 ho. Okay, I was like, is this going to be worth it? Hell yeah, it is. I know she used all my bombs there, but we got good money now, and that's really good with the, uh, the, the, the golden card thing that we just got. I, I'm going to just open, I'm not, I'm not planning on going down here, I just want to see if there's anything in there. Let's carry on this way. Um, yeah. This is, this is, this is an interesting run. I, I love Head of the Keeper as an item, it's just such a rare item that... Even though it doesn't do anything crazy, once you get it, it's like, oh my god, yes. And then also, on top of the fact of, we've got something that makes money pretty darn valuable on this run, so I like that. Probably was a bit of a waste of my book there, but oh well. Got a bomb back here, so we'll use it here. We don't need that, because that's just for, uh, um... That's just for Devil Deals, it doesn't do anything for Angel, and we're taking Angel this time around, but... Thank you for the offering, nonetheless. Get frozen, Lemonhead. Use this for the last wave. Beautiful. And we got a penny out of it as well. Not getting tons of pennies here. I can never remember if Head of the Keeper is luck-based or not. We got some bombs out of this, so let's go for that. There you go. Class D4. Glass D4 is not something I'm willing to use right now. I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on. I'm going to do this rage thing here and just get everything fighting each other. It's kind of an interesting way of doing this room. 
didn't really work super effectively on the type of enemies we have here. Okay, so this are the these are the new keys. I do lose damage for the amount of keys that I have. Okay. So basically the idea is we got a pretty decent damage up. But the more keys we hold, the worse it is. But we can't leave keys on the floor. Hmm. It's interesting. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take that. And then that gets cheaper as well. So I guess I'll take that. King of Spades, what does that actually do? Lose all your keys. Spawn a proportional number of pickups. Can spawn a trinket or an item with a certain number um, of keys. Hmm. I don't think I really want to be using this, but it can get me to zero keys, which is kind of nice, right? Because that gives me a damage up, but I don't want to use that until I've got, like, more keys, really. But it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of handy to hold on to, I think. I wouldn't say it's the best, but... Oh, that was stupid. That's fine, it's fine. Don't lose my immortal hearts here. Uh, let's get you in there. Dude, how do you not freeze any of these guys? Oh, Lord. I'm taking some damage that I should not be taking right now. There we go. It's more like it. And take that, spend it straight away. We get the virus. It's a speed up. It's it's not that great, especially when you don't have any other um, what's it called? If you don't have any of the other uh, syringes, the virus is kind of low tier. It used to be really really good when it could uh, give you black hearts, but that's all in the past now. It's all in the past now. Okay, this enemy, quite annoying. Unfortunately, I did freeze this champion again, which I don't really want to be doing because freezing him stops him from being able to drop a golden chest. Well, hey, her. Get away, spiders. Just you left. Or is there a real enemy about somewhere as well? Okay, there's a real spider about. There's a few real spiders about. Heck. I'm not being hit by an actual keeper. That keeper just jumped directly into that fire. He was incredibly suicidal right there. Very strange. Uh, we'll do this extra room as well. I'm glad I did. Tinted rock in here. Nice. Very worthwhile. Got back up to a decent amount of HP here. We'll hope for an angel deal. I'm going to take the keys regardless of him giving us damage down. Um, just because I have this King of Spades to use if I need it. And honestly, my damage is in a really good spot right now. Ooh, this is an interesting champion. This is a new one that I have not seen before. Very cool looking. I think this is from the More Champions mod. Very, very cool looking champion. Lots and lots of creep to uh, watch out for. Also, a lot of red champions that heal each other. It's weird that the tears hitting the floor don't make an explosion sound. That's not normally the case. There you go. But yeah, a lot of creeps to watch out for. Let's just be cautious of that. We got enough damage to easily take this guy out, though. I mean, we are playing as Judas after all. Oh, for God's sake, the creep. Got in my way. And that did full heart damage as well. Wow. Ball of bandages. Eh. Not very happy about ball of bandages, but I'll take it. We did get our angel deal, though. And we get Pride Pin. Very nice. Really, 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 really like Pride Pin. Cycling tier effects. Anything. Anything that's going to give me more tier effects. Everyone knows. That's my jam. I really like these sort of things. Oh, hello. These are guys are, uh, these guys are firing off rockets. Whoa. We got some bees. We got some bees in the house. Little mushroom shots as well. Got the little electricity. There's just a lot of good um, good things that fall under the guides of the pride pin. A lot of good. I did not realise those, those dudes could shoot bombs. I don't think I've ever witnessed them do that before. Intriguing. Ow. Not doing too well on the health department, just in terms of how much I'm getting hit, but let's not worry about that too much. Let's go for that. Oh, that missed. Damn it. Do you know what would be cool? If you can somehow get, like, Baby Bender to give the, uh, to give the thing. So, I'm going to do this and drop all my bombs. That gives me a bunch of damage. Which did also give me a bomb, and then I've got a little bit more damage, and I've only got one key on me now. So, that was 
Not the best use case of that, but it kind of works. What the hell? Splish Splash. So Splish Splash is going on here. And farts as well. Yeah, there's just a lot of cool tier effects you can get bundled into the Retribution pack. I like it. Retribution does a really good job of adding a lot of variety of items. I mean, there's Chastity one itself. I'm pretty sure that's from uh, Retribution. That's pretty cool. Send this guy fungal. What the hell? Arcade here. I could gamble. I could gamble. Gambling. Trying to double my money on some gambling could be kind of interesting. But do I really want to? No point gambling my keys away. Definitely not. So I'd only end up with more keys if I won, and I don't want more keys. Oh, for God's sake, I walked right into that dude. Oh, dude, the herming shots. Stop. <laughs> oh, what the hell? That's a golden key. Okay. Like a cursed golden key. Okay, I'm trying to be a little cautious here. Oh, this is a bad room. Stick against the wall. Stick against the wall. They can't fart me into the uh, spikes if I stick against the wall. Mad Onion. 5% chance of tears to do extra damage and have all special effects removed. Seems pretty good. Goddamn, I love it when you can walk into a room and get like a really good hit on Cube Baby and just freeze one or two enemies like that. Just when it perfectly lines up to allow you to do great damage. Yeah, Mad Onion seems like it could be pretty decent here. Got some of those teeth shots that we were uh, having fun with with Buttermilk the other day. That's pretty cool. Turning enemies into poop as well. Got <sighs> Box of Friends here. Ballot. Which is... Ballot's pretty fun. I'll take Ballot. Why not? Ballot and a bomb. Why not? We'll get our money back pretty quick. Cute baby. Get, get, get in there. Unfortunately, a lot of the room designs in... Um, Fiendfolia don't really allow for much play with their uh, cute baby. Not all of them, but there is a few like these that just don't play well. Oh, dude, can, can you get hit, please? Thank you. Thank you. Take another key. Um, I'd rather fight, fight this guy. Thank you. Ballot's pretty useful for that sort of stuff. This is a champion one as well, I think. I don't recognize the green shots. Unless that's just a visual change. Beautiful. Much, much easier. We did get a devil deal here. I can at least check it out. Um, gain two times damage for the room when taking damage. 0 0.85 damage for the duration of the following room. 35% chance to drop a joy pill on room clear alongside the existing rewards. Nah, I don't think either of those are worth my losing my angel chance for. Have I grown up? Have I grown up? Um, and I think we're good to go. Pretty simple, pretty easy run, to be fair. We've got some some interesting stuff going on. I kind of like the, the idea of the pride pin plus the mad onion. Them two kind of mixed together in a pretty weird way. Aww. Could have held off on that. It's weird that their like, bodies grow to full size when I kill them. Okay, this... I think I broke this guy. <laughs> Got him. Another key. Okay, we don't need another key, so let's not pick it up. I think three is the most we ever want to have on us. But have I grown up is it's doing its thing. And this time it does spawn a golden chest that I can't reach. Thanks, game. More keys that are going to disappear here. That is that is definitely a big downside with this item, but I kind of like the idea of keeping your keys low to keep your damage high. It's not a ton of damage either. It's not like make or break. If it was make or break, it'd probably be more annoying of an item. But the fact that it's just a little bit of bonus, and you can manage it if you want to keep that bonus, it makes it more fun. Whereas if it was like, oh, you're getting plus one, minus one damage per key sort of thing, it would be pretty impossible to ever want to have any more than one key in your inventory. So I like the way they've done it. 
made it feel pretty good without feeling too invasive sort of thing on, on your run. I'm not a big fan of, like, I like items that change the way that you play, but I'm not a big fan of items that kind of, like, force your hand like that. Oh, pride pin plus pride badge. Hell yes. They go together quite nicely, although... Is pride broken? Pride is broken. Damn. See if I drop him and pick him back up if it fixes anything. Oh, he's working now. Mm, he seems to be uh, not not doing too too well. We got the apple of pride here, which is thematic. It's fine. He at least makes our tears rainbow. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt just for that. The fact that pride pin, uh, pride pin, pride badge still makes your tears rainbow as well. Pretty nice. It's a nice addition. Lots of farting going on. Oop, golden heart there as well. Nice. And we get bed bug, which doesn't do too much for us, to be honest. We'll take it. It's fine. Another key. I'm going to stick with two, to be honest. I'd rather keep my damage a little higher. May seem like a little bit of a waste. I, I'm, I'm surprised it went to the eff extra effort of giving uh, this item its own key, uh, like its own key sprite. I like that a lot. That's 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 a a nice touch that they didn't have to uh, go to the extra effort of. I lost my apple of pride there, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping I could keep that going a little bit longer, at least till the boss. But it is what it is. Du -du -du -du. Um. I'll buy a battery just to lower some prices. I'll buy that to lower some prices. Oh, hello there. Very nice. I'm going to buy that as well. I want to know what the water item is. I've not had that item before. It makes our lasers rainbow as well. I love it. Apparently we have taken a tears down at some point. Because uh, that was a tears down there. Oh, I lost my... Um, Heart. I had I had a empty heart, whatever they're called, the little ones that spawn the flies, the locust hearts. But now it is gone. I'll I'll keep with them. I'll keep with them. These guys aren't that hard, especially with good damage, which we. Oh, and the do Do we have good damage? We have decent damage. I wouldn't exactly say we have good damage. Oh, we've got piercing for some reason. Okay, that was just one of the items we had. I think he keeps rolling into Pride and Cube Baby and getting wrecked. Ooh. My health is not looking so good when those guys disappear. I didn't like that. Eh. <laughs> that makes things look significantly better, I suppose. Not exactly what I was hoping for from this, but... Honestly, two Immortal Hearts is kind of ludicrous. I've never had more than one. I didn't even know you could have more than one. But that's going to keep us safe for a while, I think. What we really need right now, from what I'm seeing, is uh, we could really do with some tiers ups. Our tier stat is still at base. I'll go, I'll go up to three keys because we're on a new floor. Oh god. Thank god we got the laser at that time there. Oh, we got some like rocket speed tiers here. What the hell? Get our immortal heart filled back up again. Oop, what are you doing? I didn't realize they did that. Normally I kill these guys before they get to move. Wheel of Fortune. I'll take that along with me to like bomb next to a secret room or something. I tend not to use them for an in their intended purpose very often, but... Damn, that was actually a pretty good throw there, dude. Immortal heart's back filled again. Ooh, using these uh, poop tears is really good insta-kill stuff. Another very good item there. Ah, shit. Well, thank you. Seems to just kill that guy for me. Uh, we are on Necro 2 here, so we don't want to go for that quite yet. 
We do have the speed to, to zoom back to the earlier parts of the floor, though. Unfortunately, a mortal heart will not let us get into the care room easily here, so I'm not going to bother with that. Turn him into poop. There was another key there that I missed out on. Whoopsie. It's okay. I think two is enough for the rest of this floor. See, look at that. Look how strong that is. That's unbelievably strong. <laughs> Definitely the best tier effect you can get there, I think. I don't know where the other guy's going. Come back over here. There you go, we got him. Yeah, there's another key, but I don't think we need it. We do have a Dominic here. Not exactly the best, just a war of spiders. Yeah, I've got that mod that shows you uh, where laces are going to strike as well, which is pretty nice. Oh, hello. Um... May they judge you fairly. Alright then. Not what I was expecting. He just went straight into pride there. I just zoomed him out the body straight into pride. Damn it, you're going to spawn a... Spawn a thingy. Oh yeah, we'll do this. Glowing Hourglass. Now, that has changed quite a lot. Might be better. Mantled Heart. Picking up a Soul Heart. 15% chance of granting Holy Mantle. 30% chance of picking up Eternal Hearts. Considering Pride's not doing that much apart from giving us Rainbow Tears, I feel like this is a good idea. I'm going to take this. I'm sorry, Glowing Hourglass. It is not your day. Um... Choose your destiny. I might as well. Why not? And then hello, fellas. You could not bump me back out the room, please. I'll pay into you. See what you give me. You gave me milk, milk tea. I'm not sure what this guy does. He needs a key and a bomb. He can also be pushed around. I think he's actually dead. I don't think he's meant to be able to be pushed around like this. Okay, these two can't be blown up, apparently. Ah, uh, I think they're bugged out. because I had to delete some stuff in Ipecac to make things work. I think that's what's going on there. Like, we now have this going on. Which, honestly, with our current fire rate, isn't all that good. A very slow fire rate for this setup. Ugh. Got a heart refilled again. I mean, it does a good amount of damage, I'll say that. Another new monster type. I love the sprites. Originally, the mod uh, that adds all the new boss sprites, uh, boss champion stuff, didn't have unique sprites, but someone did them for the mod, and honestly, they are fantastic looking. This monster looks so derpy, I love it. Not any keys for long, so let's do this. Unfortunately, nothing there that I really want. Let's just get out of here. We're at max damage as well now, which is good. But we, we do seriously need some fire rate increases coming our way pretty soon. Nope, wrong way. Damage is looking pretty alright. Not the best. We could do with air damage up. But it's really tears up we need. Anyways, let's keep on moving. It's interesting that you can um, choose anything with uh, in terms of these. It'd be nice if... Um, if you had the ballot, you could choose which champion version of Mum you want to fight, maybe? I don't know, just a little buff to it. Because I feel like ballot, it claims to be quality 4. I'd say it's more like quality 2. It's decent, but it's not It's not amazing. Most bosses, it doesn't really matter which one you fight. There's some of them that you definitely don't want to fight. But there's a lot of them where it doesn't really make all that much of a difference. Um, Take the negative for the damage. Pentacles. It's a bit late to get pentacles, to be honest. It's not going to be that useful, but it's not a bad thing. I also think we managed to get a holy mantle off that soul heart then. So we've got an immortal heart, a soul, uh, a, an immortal... Ah, okay, okay. We can go to womb, uh, other womb, or sacred room. I, I, I like this. This this is nice. I'm going to go to normal womb here. Um, 
Yeah, Immortal Heart, Holy Mantle. You got a Holy Card there as well, by the looks of it. Okay, no, no. That was just a visual bug. Yeah, but as you can see, that with the setup we've got going on right now... Oh, this, this, the mushroom sort of tears devolve enemies by the looks of it. Yeah, our current fire rate is just not really enough to keep up. We haven't really had that many money drops, have we? We lost our holy mantle there somehow. Hope we can get some mapping through a card or something. Yeah, it's just, we got to stand at uh, uh, the ideal distance. I, I really like that idea, honestly. I really like this item and having to stand at the right distance away from things to get the max benefit. But with the fire that we currently have, it's making it a little hard. I will go for this just for the potential chance of um, an item. Technically, you can get rock bottom. With the mods that I have on, you can find rock bottom in stone chests. Seems to be very, very rare because I've never had it happen. Ooh. You guys just spawned on top of some spikes there. That was very nice. It reminds me a lot of the mass shotgun from uh, Enter the Gungeon, for any of you that know that. Look at that. Perfect. What an easy room. <laughs> the mass shotgun basically does this exact thing where you fire it, it goes to a certain distance, and it splits up into multiple little shots. Um, it's like a blast and if you if you fire at the right distance where you hit the enemy right as it explodes You deal insane damage, but if you don't get it quite right, it doesn't really do as much um, So yeah, it's, it's very very reminiscent of this. I'm, I'm liking these mushroom devolving tears. I Have had this item a few times before but with the item It's not a guaranteed chance to fire the devolving tears whereas with the pride pin it is which is interesting I don't really need keys right now also, I have decided to go to um, the Dark Path. For one, I needed the damage, but for two, it helps a lot more to go to the Dark Path. Because then we don't need to carry keys. Whereas, if we went Light Path, we would be pretty much required, if we want to get the items, to carry four keys. Whereas now, we can ignore them all and stay at pretty high damage the entire time. We've unfortunately got all the dead ends we possibly can here. Yeah, these guys are a little annoying. Ow, what the hell? Oh, I love that. Just turn them into poop. I don't really mind about being hit once per room because the, these immortal hearts just make it so effective. Like, it doesn't matter at all that we're getting hit once a room. Teeth. I still don't really know what the point in the teeth uh, enemy is. It doesn't seem to do anything. Wrong way again. My goodness. Not doing too hot on the uh, picking the right direction shtick at the moment, are we? It's fine. It's part of the charm, I guess. Part of the charm. But yeah, I really would like to know um, what people think of the whole second channel idea and stuff. I'm definitely going to do it as you guys suggested, where it's like more long form content, where I just upload like a two hour segment and just upload it as is. I realise the content's probably not going to do super well because like... It's going to be a, 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 a second channel to a channel with only 10k subs, which is already going to be rather small. But then, obviously, most people that are watching my channel are here for the content that I upload to the main channel, not the second channel stuff. But it's basically, it's there for two reasons. It's one, there is a lot of games that I, like, want to play on the channel that I don't get the chance to, just because it doesn't really fit in. Um, but also, it's going to give me sort of motivation to play some games that I... Um, wouldn't normally like finish there's just too many games like cyberpunk like the witcher like elden ring that i've started i've absolutely loved and i've got distracted by other things but i feel like if i um i feel like if i start uploading them and people start enjoying them i'll feel more obligated to to see see it to term and play the whole game and and I want that for me. <laughs> I want to have a reason to to keep playing them and not get distracted. And I feel like that's a good thing for myself. Um, I think the first game that I'm going to play on there is Elden Ring. I I, I, ha I am about like 
40 or 50 percent of the way through the game on my current save file but i haven't played that save file in maybe like four months five months at this point it's been a while i've just not really got around to it so i'm probably just going to start a new save file and take the knowledge that i've gained from my first playthrough into the into the game because i was gonna like people suggested when i said about playing elden ring on my discord people were like, oh yeah you should really play it on your youtube but i was like nah i've never played a souls like game before um and elden ring's a huge game i think it's going to be way too repetitive because i'm going to have to like fight bosses hundreds of times and there's going to be a lot of stuff i don't know and it's going to be a very long learning process um and it's going to be difficult for people that understand the game to watch and it's going to be slow for people uh to watch too but now that i know a lot more about the game and i feel like i'm pretty decent and i understand the basics and especially understand where to like go in the early game that'll stop that for the majority um and I can do it like that. And with it being a much more chilled out playthrough as well, like another like another two things really that I, I, I kind of like about the idea of the second channel is one, I feel like because it's second channel where I don't I don't have a proper upload schedule, it's just what it comes when it comes. I'm not gonna feel like obligated to play it when I don't want to play it. I don't like it's very rare. It's very rare that I play I have to play Isaac when I don't want to play Isaac. But uh, at the same time, when you're doing this game daily, there is going to be days here and there where you're like, eh, I don't really feel like doing a run. I don't really feel like playing Isaac today. Whereas, I feel like if I don't have an upload schedule for this Elden Ring or whatever other game I play, I'm going to be more, more I'm going to enjoy it more and be able to take it a bit slower. But also, another thing is if I did it on a main channel as a normal series, I'd feel bad about some of the more boring bits. I'd feel bad about, um... Like, if I took forever on a boss, I missed something really obvious, and I had to, like, go back and redo things a lot. I'd feel bad because people would have to watch, and either that or I'd have to edit out. Whereas, with it being the second channel thing, I can just upload it as a whole, like, two-hour video and just leave all that stuff in. And people can skip past it if they don't enjoy it, or watch it if they do. Really, for the people that are watching this content, I expect the vast majority, it, it will be a chill-out. It'll be a chill out YouTube video where they'll, they'll just stick it on while they do other stuff while they go to bed and it'll just be really chill because the commentary is going to be probably a little less active than it is in the main channel of course. On the uh, on the main channel on the Isaac series as we are now I'm always sort of keeping going making sure I'm being entertaining or talking about something in general I don't know if I'm actually entertaining or not but people seem to think so. But anyways um, keep things going sort of thing. Um, but with the second channel, I'm not saying that I'm not going to aim to be not entertaining, but it means that I don't have to try so hard with the commentary. I don't have to think about it so much. We can just kind of play the game pretty relaxed, pretty leisurely, kind of more like you would with a Twitch stream. And you guys can just kind of chill out to the content. That's kind of my plan. It's really just an additional thing. It's not, it's not anything big. And like I said, every now and again, um, I might, uh, I might do some warzone on there or other things just stuff that i might fancy playing and i've just i've had quite a few people say in my youtube videos and um, when i mentioned about warzone i had like three or four people say like oh i'd be interested in seeing you play that because you've spoken about it a lot before and so i went and recorded some solos and i got a win and i was pretty happy about it um it's my first ever win on solos i normally play duo as my friend so it's quite nice to get a win and to get it recorded and to have it at full frame rate as well which i didn't think was plausible when i first started because uh because of that, my recording issue that I mentioned. It was very nice to be able to get a really good recording of it. I love that there's a rare chance that you just spawn an actual letter B. That's so funny. But I have to say, um, with my new recording set up as well, and obviously the new patch, the frame rate seems to be pretty good, right? I don't know if anyone else is noticing, but my frame rate seems to be a good bit better than it normally is, which I'm very, very happy about. Very happy about indeed. I don't want no keys. Do, 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 do. Oh god, that was. Cl I don't know why I risked that there, but I made it through apparently. But yeah, I might. I might. As long as my friends are okay with it, I might record some of the games I have with my friend and upload them from time to time. Obviously, I won't do that all the time because sometimes we just want to have <laughs> conversations that probably include some personal details um, or just, I don't know, don't want to be recorded sometimes. But every now and again, it'd be fun to record some of our gameplays, I think. I get another key in this room. I should grab it. 
Just so I can open up that uh, shop back there. Ow. Oh, I lost my heart there. How? Balls. It's fine. Hello, weird mother. Oh, damn. I'm getting hit quite a lot now. My mini Isaacs are doing a great job, though, because I've got that uh, blessing going on. They're adding a nice bit of extra damage to the run. I think I'm going the right way here. I mean, I've, I've, I've found this guy. That's decent. Although, this guy does tend to hit me quite a lot, so... Good luck to me, I guess. Again, my mini Isaacs are doing a good job of wrecking him up, although a lot of them have died. There you go, we got him. Wasn't so bad, and we got the Blood of Satan. Always costs one heart, damage, and full health. Why not? Ah. <laughs> Always costs one heart, didn't cost one heart. Thanks. Slightly annoying room here, but this guy's dying really quick. If we stand at the right distance, things go bye-bye pretty quick. Oh, damn. That was a pretty good shot by you, though. And you spawned a Hurst as well, you little shyster. Okay, we lost quite a lot of health here. I think we're okay for this fight. How come we got, like, a bunch of extra fire rate for a hot minute there? Or at least it felt like we did. We've got perfect standing distance here for, um... Getting better shots on this guy. Getting good damage. The feet are going to be a little more difficult, I think. Oh, I stood right in the way of that, didn't I? It's okay, he's dead. That was a little bit tricky, but we got there in the end. Right, last floor... Not really sure how I'm, how I'm feeling about this. Let's see what our chests contain first. What? Well, like... <laughs> God damn, that was worthless. None of those are any use to us. That is a real shame. Don't. <laughs> Not a big fan of this room with the uh, purple fires either, especially considering I'm going to have to move around a lot to avoid these guys. I really wish I had permanent piercing. Whenever I have that piercing tier effect, it seems to be super valuable. Oh, dude. This is, this is not going well. Getting hit quite a lot. I love the new Mr. Fred, by the way. The new Mr. Fred has so much style. Really cool redesign of a boss. Considering it's like a full redesign as well, it completely changes how he normally works. Very impressive. Oh, balls. Ooh, yeah. Health is not looking so hot. See, this is why you need the brimstone thing going on. That's so nice. That's pretty good. That's more health as well. A room with a lot of these guys is also pretty scary. These are really cool designs for enemies. Honestly, just so many of the theme folio enemies are super, super interesting designs. I absolutely love them. Really, they, they take him in a different and strange direction. And like, how those enemies particularly would not fit the theme of this floor, so they just built loads of enemies similar to make their own theme for the floor. That's something as well that I really like that they've done. They've not just gone, oh, we'll stick to the theming of this floor. Some, some floors, like, Dank Depths is a really good one, where it's like, they've got all the different, like, trash rooms, or, like, the garbage rooms, with all the garbage enemies. Like, they aren't anything like any of the vanilla enemies for that floor, but they fit in so well. Because they've made a whole archetype and a whole room type for them. 
and so it works. I, and I, I really think it's a really good idea that they did that. The Gish redesign has me uh, a little more scared. This guy is uh, aggressive as all hell now. He likes getting up close and personal. Right, I'm just hoping I'm going the right way. Oh, what the hell hit me then? Right, let me just go back and get this heart to refill my, uh, my good heart. Oh, hello. Crawl space. All of this for scatter bombs. I do not think so. That's a lot of effort for scatter bombs. This is a tricky room. For, for like my setup at least. I think I need to bomb these these, these walls, which seem to be the only thing protecting me, but there you go. I've got an interesting heart here. Okay. Damn it. But this heart has stood one hit, which is quite nice. There we go. Oh, I managed to refill that heart. Okay, so I think I know what that heart does now. I think that's what it does. If you lose half of it and you kill an enemy. Oh, ho, ho, we got golden bombs for the fight as well. Okay, that, that helps us a good amount. I like that quite a lot. Just get as many bombs in there as we can. Things should look dandy. Okay, body's dead. And the head is dead. Okay, we got through it. Not too bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Kind of an interesting run here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.